just chill vibes, just hanging out, getting to meet everybody, so it's real cool. Congratulations on making it into vet school. I'm Vet Med Kid, and today in this video, I'm going to be sharing a few tips with you so that your first few weeks of vet school are not so daunting. My first tip to you would be to go to all your O Week events. It's super important to go to these because you get information about what to expect for your first few weeks of class. At UQ, we have O Day. This is your first opportunity to meet the rest of your cohort, as well as meet the heads of faculty, the UQVSA, or the University of Queensland Veterinary Students Association exec team, and the PSN, which is the Peer Support Network team, who are there to support you throughout the degree. PSN will take you on tours, and then afterwards we have games at the Oval, Oval Games, and you'll get to meet students from other years of the veterinary degree. And then later that night, we also have pub night, which is where we meet at the local Gatton pub and we just chill. Just chill vibes, just hanging out, getting to meet everybody, so it's real cool. Once O-Week is done, you actually start the real stuff. So, what should you pack on your first day? Well, to be honest, most of the lectures on your first day are going to be intro lectures. So you'll get to meet the lecturers and they'll kind of go through what's expected of each course that they're giving. It's pretty chill. Um, I would recommend just basically taking a pen and paper so that you can write down information because they'll often go through assessment dates and they'll also teach you how to use Blackboard, which is the site that we use with all our course information. So it's like where the lecturers will upload PowerPoints and videos as study material for you. What do you need for lectures? Well, that kind of depends on what kind of student you are. I used to take a refill pad and a pen and write down all my notes. But as times have gone by, I've realized that I do not have enough time to write down my notes fast enough and often I miss out on the diagrams that the lecturers put up on the slides because I'm trying to write down notes and trying to draw at the same time and it just gets too higgledy-piggledy. Some people take their laptops, it doesn't matter whether you're a Mac or a Windows user, but I've switched to using an iPad, again, it doesn't matter whether you use an iPad or a tablet or anything. It's pretty easy, the lecturers upload their PowerPoints to the Blackboard site and they just download it. And I use Notability for my note taking. So I can literally write on the PowerPoint slides. So then when I get home, I grab my laptop and I type up the notes from the PowerPoint with the added notes from the lecturers, put it into my own words and kind of make my own study guides, which I then print off at the end of semester and use them to study for exams. So basically all I take to lectures is my iPad. You will definitely need a laptop for this veterinary degree because there are videos to watch, there are assignments to do, and you have to upload them online. And also in some practical classes we use the laptops instead of microscopes so that we're all looking at the same thing. What do you need for lab practicals? You'll need a lab coat and you'll need your dissection kit depending on the practical that you're doing. You'll also need closed-in shoes for your lab practicals. I like to wear either my trainers or my riding boots. If you have long hair, you've also got to make sure that it's tied up. And no dangly earrings, which means not these bad boys. What do you need for your live animal practicals? Well, you'll need overalls. You can buy either the lightweight or the heavyweight, and they recommend for you to get two pairs. Personally, I think the lightweight is the best option because it gets really, really hot, and they're long sleeve and long pants, so being in the heavyweight one in the 38 degree heat doesn't really sound appealing to me. With the overalls, you need to make sure that they're a neutral color. The university does sell branded ones, so the name's on the left chest, and they're navy. I would recommend getting at least one pair of those. You'll also need different pairs of boots, depending on the type of practical that you're going to. If you're working with the cattle, I recommend having gum boots and have the long ones that go up to your knee area. This is because they, you have to disinfect your boots after working with the cattle and it's pretty harsh on leather so I didn't want to wear my nice Ariat boots to those practicals. For horses and sheep, I chose to use my Ariat boots as they were the most comfortable shoes for me, but there are other styles that you can get as well that are kind of more like hiking style boots or proper working boots. Oh, and don't forget, it's good to be sun smart, so make sure you've got your cap on when you're working outside. 
The piggery provides overalls and gum boots for you, so all you need to make sure that you've got on is your undies and your socks. And for dogs, cats and exotics, you wear your lab coat and closed in shoes. In the first year, you won't be needing a stethoscope. You only start really using them in third year because that's when you start doing clinical exams and stuff. But when you do get to wanting to get your stethoscope, one that a lot of students get is the Lippmann Classic 3 stethoscope. I'm sure you probably have a heap more questions, and if you do, feel free to comment them below, or you can DM me on Instagram, or you can also look at, at UQVSA on Instagram, or the University of Queensland Veterinary Students Association on Facebook. We're more than happy to answer any questions that you may have, so feel free to flick us a message whenever. You can also contact us through the UQ email address. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button.